Okay, so the first plan of attack is to get you a number T30. And there's three screws right here. One, two, three. Take all three of these out. And then you can use an impact driver. Impact driver will go ahead and um, take them out real fast and quick. And if they're, uh, you know, if they're uh, stubborn, it'll knock the stubbornness off. So. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and switch down from the T30 to a T20. We're going to take off these two faceplate screws here that house the door lever and the unlock and lock button. Make sure you understand where all the screws go. Make a mental map of where all the screws go. To pull this off, obviously save it. Okay, so after you pull out those two T20 screws out of the door, you're going to want to create some room inside of the van. I need you to get some room, and you're going to need to get some room too, so you have room to operate and work in here. So you got to take advantage of your stow and go. If you need to remove the seats, just remove them. I took advantage of the stow and go, and that was that. Okay, so the next thing you want to do after you take the stow and go seating and put it in, create a space so you can actually work in this van, is remove this black piece right here. And it's just held on by two clips. One of them is stuck inside here still, and the other one is still on the frame of the door. So we'll put that aside. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do after removing that cover to the right side of the door that I showed you, that plastic cover with the two clips, we're gonna take out this bolt here and this bolt down here. They're perfectly in line with each other. They're about nine to 10 inches. Um, difference in space. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench and <clears throat> an extension and a swivel head would probably be the best thing, one of these, to get that bolt down in the bottom there because there's really no way to access it without using the swivel. So first we'll go ahead and we'll take out the top 10 millimeter screw. And again, if you have an impact driver, you don't have to do this. I can't find my adapter to go on the end of the impact driver to adapt it so I don't have to use this manual wrench. But take these two screws out, one up top here, and like I said, you're going to need the swivel head, the 3 a swivel head to get to the one in the bottom like that. And if you don't have it, go to the auto store and get it. Don't, you know, this is a $700 job at Chrysler. Don't let this little piece that I just showed you, you know, stop you from going to get, from saving hundreds of dollars. very difficult to get your fingers in there to grasp this this uh, bolt that's going through the door panel but you got to get it out every time you're doing one of these jobs just think about all the money you're saving by not having to take it to uh, Chrysler and you know you're helping everybody out when you like this video and you also reply to the comments on the video so subscribe to the channel and reply to the comments and I'll keep the videos coming. Okay, so after you get this bolt out up here, you can see my finger. It's perfectly diagonal. If you can see that bolt hole right there, that's the bolt that I just got out. That one right there. Now you're going to take this one out and the one down there, if you can see it right here, that's perfectly in line with that one. So those two bolts are coming out next. And again, that's with the T20 head, star head. If you drop them in the door, don't worry, um, because you got to get the door apart anyways. 
So you'll grab all the screws if they fall down. Try not to, of course. Okay, now you're going to want to unplug the wires to get these out of your way. Just remember they go through these channels. There's a channel here and a channel at the bottom. So get these out of your way so you can operate in. Okay, so hidden inside here, along with those two big bolts you took out from up here and down here, they use the swivel head for you have a third one and it's hidden behind here you sort of have to pull this apart to see it it's deep in there but it's there and again that's the 10 millimeter that we used earlier and it goes right through here so get this one out as well as the two that we just took out that I pointed to Again, don't worry if the screw falls down into the door panel. You're taking the whole door panel off anyways. Now, when you take that screw out, this whole assembly is going to want to come out. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and we're going to pinch uh, to try to remove this cable. We're just going to take standard. If you have needle nose pliers, they're, they're, it works better. I was trying to depress the inside, uh, the outside. It's actually the inside. So you need a pair of needle nose pliers and depress those two tabs on the inside and the whole piece will come out that way. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, and it seems a little hard, if you see that piece that just fell out, it's out of this lock right here up top. I'll try to zoom in for you so you can see it. Okay, this piece right here locks in to this silver this is like uh, this is a, your locking mechanism your locking rod and it goes down I'm trying to get it back in I have removed it I'm trying to get it back in to show you but it goes down in here and then it clips in here so it's sort of like a holder and all you gotta do is push it push the silver rod towards the door and it'll pop out and you can free up this whole assembly um, with the exception of the, uh, the the wire right here in the middle that I'm still working on here okay what I'm doing here it'd be a lot easier if I could find my needle nose pliers but I can't right now um, so basically I'm just removing this piece right here it's very simple to do if you have needle nose pliers but that'll come that'll come out from its setting there okay so the whole door actually comes off a little violently um, it's all snap pins and I know it sounds bad but all you really got to do is pull it off and everything that I just showed you about that handle forget because you don't need to have that done that, all that goes on after the, before the panel goes in. So set the panel to the side. If you need new pins, you can get them at the auto store. I'm talking about these pins that go into these white holes here. So uh, we'll see if we can isolate the issue. Um, more than likely, we're going to have to be pulling all these all these nuts off here 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 down there here here with the 10 millimeter uh, screw so I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing next uh, so I'll get to that right now okay so I have my key fob here and I want to show you what it is. It's actually this, which is the locking mechanism that goes in and out as you lock. The motor that is operating that system is messed up. Watch this. It's working. It's moving in and out as it should, but it's causing, it's, it's probably old kids get in and out of it all the time you know so it needs to be replaced 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take out all the other 10 millimeter bolts. Again, if you have an impact driver with the adapter on the end, this will go a lot faster. And I'm not gonna sit here and record this video of me while you guys sit here and watch me undo bolts. So we're gonna take off this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right. Okay, now again with your T30, your T30 T head, you're going to take this screw here out, and you can't see yet, but you will now, and that screw there. Okay, so this screw and that screw you're going to take out next. Again, impact, impact driver is great. It allows you to do things very fast. And remember, T30s here and here. I made this video for you just so you wouldn't lose. You also have two more on the right side to the right, which is here, up top here, and right here. So we'll take those out right now as well. Come on, guys. We're going to get this done. We're going to save hundreds of dollars from a dealership wanting us to pay to have this done. Okay guys, now we got to clean up some of this wiring. This wiring is starting to cause the door from not being able to, um, the panel that I'm trying to access is not being accessible because of the situation of the wiring to manipulate it. There we go. So the red piece slides down and then it allows you to slide out. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to push this in here. Okay, again, this is an anchor point for one of the wiring, so just push that in. And that's the anchor point <clears throat> for this wire here. It's the whole pulley system, that's how the door operates and closes. So now this will be loose, allowing you to almost free up. Then you got to do this one up top here. This one up top here, push it into the door. Push this into the door here. It is a little tricky, but it's easy to do. All right, so we got two down. Um, and we're hung up on the, on the back side here. Uh, remember those three bolts that we took off earlier? The very first thing that we did uh, it looks like that's where we're getting hung up. So, we'll see where we're possibly getting hung up. Okay, so right now I'm in investigation mode. Uh, back with the T30. I'm going to go ahead and remove the window regulator. That's this thing right here with the motor. I'm going to remove that. And that freed up this door panel. Take off the power going to the window regulator. Remember, T30 screws. If you want, put all these screws back into the window regulator so you don't lose them and set them aside. You're not going to lose it anyways. You have this video to, uh, you know, go back to and see. Also, um, 
you know, and uh, refer back to. There is a couple cables back here. All you have to do is take them out of the channel, okay? And then the whole window assembly will drop. Now we're gonna go back into investigation mode and see what else is holding up the, uh, the door here. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is remove this cap from here. And in there you will find a white pulley holder that is holding two lines together. That will free up some of the slack and we will keep moving. Probably also going to want to pull this grommet out. Grommet needs to be needs to come out so you can slide that piece inside of that hole. Like so. Move to the next. Okay, so back again. After my investigation, you have to take the glass out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The glass has to come out. Now, I've already taken the piece out because I was on a roll. This piece right here has the track mounted to it, okay? That's the track that your glass goes into. Now, your glass comes out. There's two. This is one of them right here. Uh, and, uh, you know, don't let these cables uh, screw you up, how they look and everything. Um, I'm gonna have somebody come out and redo them, uh, but that's where your your window right here on the top here. That's what screw you gotta take out. Okay, folks. Now I got the locking mechanism out that locks the side doors. This piece right here is about a hundred bucks on eBay, and uh, I plugged it back into the power, and I'll show you that that's the piece that's bad. See that? That piece right here has to be changed. This motor right here is bad. It has to be changed out. And we'll go ahead and we'll show you how to change that out. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove this. Obviously the wiring, which is the easiest part of it all. Well, at least I thought it was the easiest part of all. Pretty freaking hard. There we go. That's removed. And now it looks like there's something holding the mechanism from the back side. This screw right here that I'm suspecting is holding it, and again, it's your T20. There's, yeah, your T20. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take that screw out right there in the center there, and see if it drops out. And guess what, folks? It's not a T20. It's smaller. Okay, so it's a T10 screw for this. Sorry for the interruption, folks. He's a cool guy. Steve made the deal with him, though. I just kept my yeah, See how that came out? And that's your motor right there, folks. That's all we're looking to get. This little pile of junk right here that's gone bad. I don't want to take the whole thing out, I'd rather just take this out, and that's how it comes out right there. So, I gotta order this piece. I know, not very smart that I didn't order it before, but I gotta order it now. And, uh, you plug it back in, take your remote control, 
and go ahead and see you can actually hear it inside of there grinding uh, I, I will try to uh, fabricate a uh, I have a feeling that the motor in there might be stuck somehow and if I need to fabricate a pulley or some some sort uh, I don't think I can get into this box I will try um, but if I can fabricate something and make it, I will make it available to everybody I can f possibly get it to. So thanks for watching and I will uh, have the reassembly in about 3-4 days from now.